Here is the way to win. So you're inside of your company, am I right? And you're the best. You're not the best in the world, that's a problem. The fact that you're the best in your company creates entitlement. It creates, I'm, dude, no you're not. There's somebody that will make you look like an amateur. There's somebody that will come in and recruit your whole team. You better watch out. Every single day you have to work like someone's trying to take it all away from you in the next 24 hours. Guys, there's something that I live with. It's called a healthy paranoia. Healthy paranoia, okay? I honestly am not going to let anything come to, somebody come take anything from my family. It could happen if I rest. Choose your rest. When is the right time to rest? Where should I rest? Okay? Never, yeah, never admit that you're tired. Rule number one, never admit it. Never give in to your body. Never. Never. I hear people say, I'm tired. No, you're not. Don't you say that, okay? Don't you agree with that? There's another level. This is an opportunity for you right now to say, no, I'm not tired. You know what? I'm fucking pissed off. I'm going to wake up. I'm not tired at all. And you go. And some of you, you don't even know what I'm talking about right now. And I'm sharing it with you, but you don't understand it. I'm asking you with the life of me to please, does be, is being average make you happy? Isn't it making you fucking sick? I mean, are you guys sick and tired of being fucking sick and tired of being fucking average? Okay, that is the line you draw in the sand and you say, am I making choices right now that show that I'm sick of being average? Okay, look, average is trying to concrete your feet in the ground. It's the truth. You're not here for only word tracks. You're not here only for closing. You are the clothes. You are the clothes. You guys should carry a spirit with you that runs with you, that everywhere you go, it is clear. When I'm around this guy for two minutes, does he suck the fucking life out of me or does he give me life? Okay, when I'm around him, does he look lost or does he look like he can guide me? Do you hear me? Okay, listen, it's not a close. Those aren't words. That's a way you carry yourself, okay? When I was a kid, I used to watch Grant Cardone when I was 18 years old because he was the only guy that looked like he had a fucking swagger. He was the only guy, and I just would watch the way that he believed in everything that he was doing, even if it was right or wrong. And I was like, dude, that's like part of the key of winning. It's just believing in yourself. Some of you in here, you don't fucking believe in yourself. That's the biggest problem. Some of you, you have it stained on your face that you're comfortable. It's stained. You are not moving the needle in your company. You're not moving it. You're not moving the needle in your life. Today, everything changes. I am challenging you today to go back home and be different and never be the same again.